a place for a complete engineering solution. Engineering Helpline. Your dreams, your choice, our creation. Subscribe us to get instant update and click on the bell icon. Today we will learn about how to draw contour in ArcGIS. First you have to open ArcMap. Click on my template and blank map. For that, we have to add data first. Click on add data. then connect to the folder where you have data let's say i have data in desktop then libraries in desktop okay let's sort the data after that when you add an csv file or excel file it will make a table here you can use xls format or csv format the latest format xl xs is not supported in arcmap 10.5 so first you have to convert it into csv or xls file then you can import it into the arcmap after that you have to click on the data and go to display xy data okay after that a field will be opened here you can select x field in which x field is there first you have to look at the data x field y field z field and remark okay then you have to plot same data is display xy data in x field in x y field in y and z field in z my data is in coordinate system projected coordinate system and in utm i am doing this for in case of nepal and this data is taken in 45 and okay then click on okay after that a window will be open there warning message table does not have an object id field then you just have to click on okay after that data will be plotted here after data has been plotted, you have to go to R toolbox. In R toolbox, you have to go to spatial analysis tool and in this interpolation generally we can use all method of interpolation here but in case of point data it is effective to use topo to raster and click on topo to raster then feature layer survey data that csp events then field in which field or according to which field the interpolation has to be done we specify here then for contour map preparation we generally take field as a z coordinate or contour means elevation okay then type of the field which type of field means the data in the field is 
elevation of the point. So you put point elevation. After that, output surface raster, you have to specify the output location. I put it uh, as a default location, then click on OK. Data has been interpolated here. You can see the interpolated data. After the interpolation has been completed, a raster data set or raster image will be produced. After that, for control map preparation or control, you have to go to surface. Then you will see contour. Click on contour, and here the input raster is 242 raster. Output polyline features, let's take it as a default as it is. Then control interval, you have to specify the control interval. Let's say control interval is 1. Then base control. Base control means the value above which or below which. It is the range. Generally, it is optional, so we does not specify it here. And then Z, Z factor means the factor at which the data is there in the Excel sheet or data in the raster image. Generally, it is one. So we put it, put it one or default. Then click on OK. After that, control will be there. Yeah. Let's see. Here is a you can see the control map here. Now we need onto definition. Now we have to label the control to see which control is this. Click on label feature. After that, here this is not the control value. For that, you have to go to properties. And click on level control. Okay. And click on apply. Okay. Now the control level has been level here. You can see this. This is general method of preparing control. If we need the specific control value, we can use another tool. A control list. Let's say I need only control value. Let's say control value of 600. Similarly, 700. Similarly, 715. Or random interval. If random interval, then we can use this. Let's see the output. Here only specific control will be there. If you label these, different properties. Then label control value. Then click on apply. Now label feature. You can see only the value, desired value control is here. A place for a complete engineering solution. Engineering Helpline. Your dreams, your choice, our creation. Subscribe us to get instant update and click on the bell icon. icon.